Welcome to That's The Point, your inside scoop on the latest construction technology and workflows, brought to you by the experts at Building Point. All right, hey everybody, welcome back to That's The Point. Uh, it's always great to be here. Uh, my name is Steve Karen, joined again by my co-host, Mr. Jonathan Stickle. How are you, man? Doing pretty good, thanks. Good, looking good, fresh haircut. Well, got a little haircut, yeah. yeah looks pretty, like you appreciate you noticing. Yeah. <laughs> so um, what we're gonna do is, is, you know, we're gonna jump into some stuff this episode, which is cool. Uh, in our last episode, you know, we showed you how to get into demo mode, you know, how to move, scale, rotate your model. So yep. just, that's, you know, really, basic beginning stuff of how to, you know, start to manipulate the model um, mm -hmm. using your hands. Um, but in this episode, what we want to do is show you how to use the, the radial menu within uh, Trimble Connect for HoloLens. Okay. Um, so that's really going to, you're going to find all your tools and everything in there that's really going to make you effective when using the XR10. Okay. Um, so what we'll do now is Jonathan's going to go ahead and slap on the XR10. All right. Now we're inside of our demo model and I'm going to stand up uh, just uh I feel a little bit more comfortable, like moving these around, standing up. Went with the bathroom um, again, I see. Yep, too. went with the bathroom. <laughs> gonna, gonna avoid giving you a swirly in this episode. Thanks. But uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and get our model all set up here. And uh, then we're gonna get into our radio dial where we uh, can see all of our tools. So I'm gonna bring up the menu. And any, anytime you wanna bring up the menu real quick, you just kind of will hold hold your hand up and it'll it'll bring it up right here. So we're just going to walk through these. These are all the tools that uh, you have access to inside of Trimble Connect. And um, we'll just kind of go through each one of them. First here, we have the measuring tool. And you can you have three options. You can uh, measure model to model. You can also do reel to model and a reel to reel. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the model to model. And we'll just say uh, pick your first point in the model. So I'm going to try to go to the countertop here. Okay, so that just shows your measurement just kind of of the countertop just so you get an idea of that. Bring up the menu again, and we'll go and clear all there. Yeah, so Explore I like. Um, typically not in this in this scenario. We only have one model open, but um, you can have multiple models open um, with, with within your XR10, within Trimble Connect for HoloLens. Um, so here is where you would see th those multiple models, uh, you know, within within the headset. So you can go ahead and turn things off and turn things on. So mm -hmm. if you did have, you know, your structural models some maybe some MEP models, whatever the case may be, mm -hmm. that's where you can turn some on, turn some off. So if you Correct. need to, you know, you want to focus in on something specific, turn everything else off. It kind of like layering, you know, you get to, mm -hmm. you know, turn stuff off um, when you need to. So th that's a good uh, functionality that, that, that they've added here. Uh, okay. The other part in Explore is just some, some model info, um, just some basic stuff, nothing too crazy that you can go ahead and, and gain from the Explore uh, button. Okay. And moving over into the navigate button, um, you have uh, about five options. And uh, settings, this is where you can adjust your settings by like metric, decimal feet, fractional feet. You can do your user at 5.8. 5.8, whoa. That, that's not right. I mean, I'm... <laughs> oh, you 6.3? Yeah, I'm at least... At least, at least 6.3. Not even close. You're you're lying to yourself right now, man. Yeah, we'll go ahead and mark that up a little bit. Six, six. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, that, that's okay. a little bit. That's a little bit better. We'll, what, we'll settle whatever, at six one. Whatever helps you sleep better at night, man. Um, you also have uh, this fishbowl radius, and we'll we'll jump into this a little bit more. But um, you can kind of just grab Definitely. the scale here and um, increase or decrease your radius. Um, so yeah, you have a couple of different setting options. Yeah, we'll definitely dive into that deeper in another another episode. Mm -hmm. Also inside of Navigate, you have your bird's eye view, which that's essentially the view that we're in right now. And that's the view anytime you open up a new model inside of Trimble Connect, it'll automatically open you up to this bird's eye view of just getting um, like kind of like a, a look down or, or like a view from the outside. Yeah. Um, or thing. up. Sometimes the model will pop True, up kind yeah. of above your head. So, But it's kind of that, you know, outside view. Like aerial looking view, in. Yeah. yeah. And then a street to, <clears throat> there, the street view, that brings you literally like a one-to-one -one, um, in, inside of your model. So everything will be showing as... Uh, you know, as they would appear in real life. Re-anchoring is uh, essentially getting your map in a, your uh, model set up in one location. And if you needed to walk across the deck or anything like that, um, you could re-anchor your model in yeah. another location. Yeah, which is very important to do. We have to keep in mind that, um, you know, once you set up your model, if you start walking away from that initial kind of setup point, mm -hmm. the more that you walk away, the, you know, things can start to, to skew a little bit. So, um, 
we suggest always, you know, maybe after 20 feet or so, you know, re-anchor. re-anchoring so yep. that so that uh, you've realigned your model. Correct. Yeah, and section box here, section box really just allows you to drill down to a specific uh, part of your model and um, only see what's in that certain section right. area. So um, we're, we're actually going to dive into that um, in a few episodes as well. So we'll talk more about that later on. Moving on over to Align. Yep. So here, yep. Here's our alignment button. Um, so you've got your plane alignment and then fine tune that you see. So your plane alignment, that's just, that's a process of placing your model, you know, into your physical space at a one-to-one scale. Mm-hmm. Um, so you always want to get a good, very good map of your area first. Um, we tend to find if you don't have a good map of your area, things can get a little wonky. So you always want to make sure that you go ahead and map out the area first, um, and then go ahead and follow the process, um, to, to set the model in, in, you know, into your, your physical space. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we're also going to take a deeper dive into that because that's something that's very important, you know, when you're getting your model set up. So we're going to take a deeper dive in, in an upcoming episode. Um, and then next is the fine tune, fine tune tool. Uh, and what that does is allows you to make those little minor adjustments. You know, if you right. throw the model up and, you know, maybe, um, you've got a beam or a countertop or a wall, whatever the case may be that looks maybe a half inch off, you can kind of hone in on that and then make these minor adjustments to, to, you know, align your model to the correct spot. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, moving on to tools. Um, we have three options where we can, first one is sequence and sequence is essentially just like a step-by-step process, um, of like creating your model. And, um, You'd need to do that on Triple uh, Connect Desktop version, but we'll we'll show you uh we'll show you that in a later episode. Um, to dos, um, you can inside of to dos you can assign you can create a to do you can assign a to do to somebody. Um, you can give them a due date. Um, you can take a picture of a certain area of your model and attach that inside of the to do, and they'll get an email notification um, once you've created that. And as Steve was mentioning, it's very important to get a to get a good map of the area of where you're at. Definitely. So anytime anytime you re, you need to recapture a specific area, you can go into tools, click on map, and uh, map out your area. And our last tool here is collaborate. And this essentially allows two or more people, if they're wearing an XR10 uh, headset, to um, be inside of one model at the same time. And you can, you can kind of essentially see each other's like pointers and um, and see each other inside of inside of the model. Um, you can also, it also has a remote option to where someone is offsite, they can also view inside yeah, of the model. Which is great, yeah. Field to office, office to field, collaboration like that is, is huge. Yeah, so that's, um, that's a brief little snapshot of the uh, radial menu. This, uh, right here, you can always grab this and move it out of your view. If you need to bring it back, it's there, but you can move it. Also, you can just turn and it's there. So if so two ways to bring it back, just like turn back to where you left it and it's there, or you can always just put your, put your hand, uh, you're kind of like palm in front of your face and it'll pop up there. So. Yeah. And that, I mean, that's really it. Those, mm-hmm. those are the tools that we wanted to, to jump in and just give you that quick overview. Like we said, we know that there's a lot of tools, you know, in here that we mentioned that we're going to take a deeper dive into, and that's because they are going to take a little bit more time to, to show you all the functionalities and the steps that you need to go through. So, um, but those are coming up very soon. Um, so again, if you do have any other questions or thoughts, please let us know in the comment section below. Um, always hit the like button and some, uh, subscribe. And just remember, if you need anything today, reach out to your local building point representative. We are always here to help you out and make sure that you succeed. So on behalf of myself, Jonathan Stickle, the entire building point staff, thank you guys so much. And we'll see you next time on That's The Point. Thanks again for joining us on That's The Point. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe on YouTube today.